Frankie Rodriguez here at Wizard World Comic Con 2012 at the Donald E. Stevens Convention Center with the five time, five time. Actually six. Six? Yeah, yeah, we went just down to but, five. But we'll go five, <laughs> okay, no, it's the six time, I'm a dummy. Never mind, six time heavyweight champion of the world and the current uh, GM of SmackDown, Booker T. Booker, how you doing? Uh, I'm doing great, yes, yeah, great day actually. I feel like I'm on top of the world right now, being the SmackDown GM, coming out of the commentary booth for a year and a half, having so much fun. Now, now here I'm promoting my new book, you know, the life story of uh, Booker T. It's, uh, it's awesome. You, you know, uh, writing a book, people don't realize how hard that is. Is that a life experience? You've been taking notes, or uh, how long did it take you to write this book? You know, uh, uh, a couple of years ago, I took a trip from um, Houston to um, Los Angeles. I'm in my Winnebago, and I went by myself. And um, I think a lot of buried memories that I totally forgotten about um, just start coming back to me. And I just had so much time to think on that trip by myself. Um, it, it all came literally in about three days um, as far as the thoughts. But at the end, it was just a matter of putting it on paper uh, for people can listen, to, I mean, read it from a, you know, a, a movie perspective. Yeah. Hey, let's ask the hard-hitting questions here. What's better, the bookend? <laughs> or the rock bottom. That's the easy one. The book he had, he stole it from me. You know, I mean, a lot of people don't know that, but the rock stole the book he had from Booker T. I was the first one to do it. Let's just get that out there. <laughs> you know, you heard it here first. The rock took it from Booker T. Hey, stole it. Stole it. There you go. Hey, let's call it for what it is. Hey, hey I wanted to ask you about uh, your tag team Harlem Heat. I, to me, one of the greatest tag teams of all time. Um, I, that being said, I want to ask you what kind of influence did someone like Ron Simmons, being the first black heavyweight champion, what kind of influence does a Ron Simmons have on a Booker oh, T? Uh, actually, Ron Simmons, um, he mentored me uh, when I was coming up, um, when I was a young kid in uh, WCW back in the day. I remember so many days uh, sitting with Ron Simmons and him schooling me on, on what it takes to get to um, that general perspective where you're no longer working in the fields and, and, and to gain that respect. Um, over a period of years. That's one thing that Ron Simmons always had um, in this business, and that was respect above all. And he taught me uh, so, so much, um, not just as, as a professional wrestler, but as a person. You know, and I got to believe that the uh, the young guys coming in, like a Kofi Kings and R-Truth, got to come up to you and thank you for all, all the things you've done, laying down foundation for them as well. You know, uh, of course, you know, those guys um, pay homage to me, but it is really not about me. It's about those guys now. It's about those guys um, creating their, their legacy in this business, their destiny is as far as how far they go, how long they last, um, first and foremost, because it is a, truly a grind. And the guys really need to understand what it takes to make it from point A to point B. It's so, so important. And so many guys started out but never get a chance to finish it. And that's what I'm trying to preach and promote to the young guys. Do you ever think the Spinner Rooney was going to become part of Booker T? Oh, heck no, that's not something you can uh, think about. Now, I try to tell the young guys, don't think about going out there and finding something. It'll find you. Um, the Spinner Rooney was something I did as a kid, uh, break dancing, you know, going around with a cardboard box under one arm and a deep box on the other arm looking for a battle you know, in the street, you know, and then happen to bring, bring it to the wrestling ring was just something that was, uh, I was just playing around and, um, never imagined um, in a million years, 20 years later, the, si the Spinner Rooney would be my signature move, but uh, it's great. You know, and I can still do it. <laughs> hey, 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 it's worked out well for you. Booker, uh, do, do, with this being era of social media, do you have a, a website, a Twitter, or Facebook yeah, you want to yeah, tell people about? Yeah, um, and follow me um, at uh, Booker T5X on Twitter. Um, um, and then, of course, uh, my, my wrestling academy. I'm, I'm, Booker T R O W uh, dot com and, uh, and we just got so much going on. Uh, everybody out there, just 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 uh, Wikipedia Booker T and you'll see exactly what I'm doing. I got so much stuff going on with my wrestling promotion, with my with, with, with my school, um, you know, uh, with my foundation, and now with my book, uh, being the GM of SmackDown. Um, I got a break dance show coming out. I got so much stuff going on right now. I'm just trying to just trying to stay active and um, keep moving forward. Well, I wish you nothing but the best of luck in your future endeavors, man, and thank you for taking some time with us. For Booker T, I'm Frankie Rodriguez here at the Donald D. E. Stevens Convention Center for Wizard World 2012.